Hello and welcome. This is Whittington Castle in Oswestry, Street. And this is Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. We've got some activity already. That was a growl. Spirit world. Past. Ghost dimension. The date that this fantastic structure was built is not certain, but it is believed that it was some sort of fortified structure here from around the Iron Age. Close to the Welsh border, the castle has seen its fair share of battles. It has changed many hands during its existence to include Welsh Celtic and Normans. The faces of ghostly children are regularly seen peering out of this very window. In this dark and oppressive guard room, some staff members refuse to enter due to the levels of paranormal activity that happen here. With such a long and bloody history, what better place for a haunting than a medieval castle? Katie, welcome to Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. Thank you very much. Whittington Castle. So, we've come here, this is believed to be one of the most active castles in the UK for paranormal activity. How are you feeling anything that now we've arrived and we've come inside of this building? Well, we've just done a very brief walk around the castle and it's most definitely hype with activity. Um, quite a few things. A few, that's the, this is sense. <laughs> So a few things have come to you already? Yeah, we've, uh, a gentleman's made himself known. Uh, we've got a William. A William? A William and a Thomas. And a Thomas. Um, I feel Thomas might have been banging a drum. All Some right, kind okay. Of drum, almost like a battle drum. Would he have been here many years ago? Yes. How long would you say? <sighs> hundreds and hundreds. Probably hmm. about se seven or eight hundred years ago. And how old? Twelve-ish. Uh, about twelve. Twelve-ish, yeah. What was he doing here then, banging the drum, do you think? Uh, well, the castle is obviously steeped in, in war, and I feel like um, Thomas probably was at the, at the front of almost like a procession, right, okay. banging a drum, making people known that, that the soldiers were coming. Oh, wow, okay. And does this castle have any, I know we've got nice spirits and negative spirits, does it have any negative feelings at all? Very much so. We walked over um, to one of the buildings across the way, um, was an old courtroom. The judge, not a very nice man. So the judge in the old courtroom yeah. picked him up straight away? Picked him up straight away. Uh, that, that room is just full of spirit activity. Is it? Yeah. Does that, um, does that judge still come here? Yes. Now, is he in visitation? He is in visitation, he's not here all of the time. Um, but I feel like he, he looks over the place almost like... This is my place. My place, and glad of the torture. Wow. Not a very nice man at all, and he doesn't like women. Should we go over now? Absolutely, I'll follow come on. you. Katie, you were drawn into this room. This is the courtroom. Mm -hmm. What is it you're, you're feeling in here? So far, this has been the worst part of the castle for me. It's so oppressive. So many spirits around, many of them children. In here? Yeah. What are the children doing in here? Um, I feel there's a very malevolent judge who resides in here, okay. and he would have condemned them to death. So the judge in this room would condemn children to death? Children to death, and for menial things. What like? Stealing a piece of bread. So it's just a piece of bread, and you... The power of it. And it, what would you commit them to just die? To death. I feel um, over in this area, um, there's most definitely a tree. A tree where the children would have been hanged. Men, women, children. All hung in this area. All hung in this area. Does this judge, is, is he still here? Is yeah. he, is he, why is he not left? 
He's reveling in it. So he's proud of it? Yeah. So, so he was doing the, one of the worst things you could do, which is condemn children to death. Exactly. He's like, ha, I'm still here. Exactly. Do you think he's watching us now? Yes. And what, he's in this area. He's over there? Yeah. What will he do tonight, do you think? I think the women are going to have to be careful. He doesn't like women. He doesn't like Absolutely women? Absolutely not, no. Okay, so if you do a, an investigation on your own, you need to be very careful. I do need to be very careful. Okay. I feel this window, um, this wasn't part of the castle. Right. I feel that this has been brought in. So this has been this brought in? This doesn't belong here. This okay. is what I'm being told. So he's saying, is, is that him saying that or is that somebody else saying no, that? No, this is somebody else saying it. This is, this wasn't built with the castle. Okay. This was brought in. And who's saying that? Just, just a just, spirit. Just a spirit in the area, yeah. Okay. So that spirit that's he's saying He's telling that, me to get out. He's saying get out and yeah. the spirit over here is talking about the window. Yeah. Can they see each other? They don't necessarily connect with each other, no. He's very much On full of his plane. own importance. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, it sounds like it's going to be a fantastic investigation. Yes. Because in different areas you've felt a lot of different things. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get started. Mm, I don't know whether I'm a little bit dubious about this room. Shall we move on? I think we should. Come on. Katie, we've come into this room. This is the well. It's in the library. You don't like it I in here. I don't like the well. What is it you don't like about it? It feels very, very oppressive. It feels oppressive? Very oppressive. Feels quite macabre. Um, I can hear a lady crying. Okay. Um, just pure devastation and I feel she may have had to drop something into the well. What is it you think she may have had to drop? I think it may have been a child. In or the well? the loss of a child. The loss of, so the child may have died and she had to put the child into the well? I don't think the child came onto the physical plane. I right. think probably it was a loss and the child and the remainder of that child was dropped into dropped the well. Dropped into the well. Is there any other spirits in this area as well, other than this lady with the, the child? Or? Not feeling anything at the moment. Yeah. I think the overriding feeling in here is obviously this this lady and just pure sorrow. Just sorrow. Yeah, and that's sort of what's filling the area at the moment. I can't feel anything else at this precise moment, but I think we'll probably, throughout the night... Experience her. Yeah, because I think this well was the centre, almost, bringing water up, flushing things down. So it was like... Yeah, yeah, almost, you know, it was a bit of a hive of activity at points. Okay. In this area as well, apparently, on other uh, investigations, books have come off the shelves. Okay. I mean, it took a lot of energy to take a book physically off a shelf. Do you think that that happens naturally? Or do you think it paranormally, should I say? Or it could just be an accidental thing where the books have just... I doubt it's accidental. Obviously, when there's so much sorrow in the atmosphere, I think it's. Purpose. I think it builds up, and maybe just the sheer devastation of the situation. This young lady, in grief, anger, pushing the books, pushing off. the books, pushing people. Okay. So sad. So it's a very sad time for this lady. Yeah, absolutely. She, she's reliving that in the spirit world. Yeah, I almost feel um, because I'm aware that away from this particular area, there were soldiers. I feel like this girl may have worked at the castle and potentially was abused by one of the soldiers. So was, she was potentially raped by a soldier? Potentially raped, yeah. Oh my God. And That's... I feel the, obviously the devastation of that situation, that to happen to her, but then for the loss of the child as well. Double whammy. It's almost like too much for her to bear. Okay. Well, I think we'll do an investigation in here then as well, see if we can sense yeah, her absolutely. energy or some yeah. of the activity. Mm -hmm. Do you see it feel any more in here? Since we've been talking and the energy's building, I almost feel like this young girl might have thrown herself down the well. So she she threw herself down here? Yeah. So with the baby has gone down, yeah. she's gone down the well as well? Yeah. Okay. With Katie sensing active spirits at the castle, I was eager to get started. So I joined up with Katie to start the investigation in the well and library. Okay, so I've came into the main cottage. Oh, oh I saw that. Yeah. That flashed, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. The uh, K2's flashing already. We've just come in. You probably see that on the tip of the camera and Katie's camera. Um, is it flashing? It's stopped now, but it was flashing. Oh, there we go. 
Ja. Is it? There's just some weird noises yeah. going on. We've come into the main cottage, which is part of the castle, and um, we're going to do a joint investigation here to see if any of the spirits that Katie was sensing earlier, um, we can sense now. So we switched the cameras on, and already these noises. It's weird, isn't it's it? It's weird. Yeah. And gone so cold all of a sudden. That's gone cold. Yeah, really yeah. cold. Shall we be go into? Let's go into there first, yes. and then which is the uh, area with the well? I'll show you. Okay, in this room we've got no equipment, we've just got the K2 meter. In the other room we've got the REM pod. Yeah, and if the REM pod goes off, um, we'll run over there and you'll hear it. In this room, before you sent books, didn't you? Yes. Uh, books were being knocked off the sides, and there's a lady in here that is uh, lost Not a child. Very happy. Yeah. So we'll call out in here. And we'll see what we get, and hopefully um, something may interact with us. And if not, we'll move on. As I've walked over here, I've got a really, really bad headache. I feel quite sick. I'm not so done. Okay. Well, let's call out and see. Okay. Right, so any spirits that have followed us into this room, um, that are interacting with the meters that we've got, please give us an indication you hear. Give us an audible noise for one of these books off the shelves behind us. Do something that we can hear with your voice or move an object. It's gone quiet yeah. at the minute, like really it's waiting. Quiet. Yeah. You know when you get that mm. waiting? I think it's going to get us later on. I think you might We're going right. to stand on this well. She's standing on the well, so she stood on the well. Stood on the well. Do you think oh. it may increase the energy standing on the yeah. well? Yeah. Okay. Both standing on the well. Now we're stood on the well. Has this lady got a name at all she's giving you? She's not, she's not giving me a name at the moment. Okay. But her energy is building, so I feel like she's, gonna, she's really going to make herself known. Can you come and join us in this room? And I'm hearing the name Rebecca. Rebecca. But Rebecca's not a very... Doesn't seem to fit for that time. But that's the name she's given. But that's the name I'm given. That's weird. Yeah. Can you come and join us in this room? Give us an indication you hear. I heard that. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. That came from down there. Yeah, it did. Should we go down? Yeah. That was... An, uh, that sounded like a man. Yeah, it did. It's a man. Now... Oh! I've just walked through something. What did you walk through? I feel I've just got to be... It sounds really stupid to say it out loud, but you know when you almost go, like you've walked through something? Like an energy? Yeah. Maybe that was what we hear. Yeah. And then, do you know what's weird as well? See this light up here? Oh, oh the K2 is going... Did it flash? Yeah, yeah there we go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is weird. Well, I turned the light off when we came in. And it's got it's yeah. back on. It was most definitely a woof. It was a wolf. It was a wolf. Look, look, look. Yeah, I can see that. That's weird. Make it go to red again if that was you. We've got some activity already. Did you remember? I heard that? those bangs, yeah. Bang bang, bang bang. Bang bang, yeah. Oh, oh. oh. Thank you. Can you make it go right to red? All the way to red. Oh, oh yes, yeah, you. yeah. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, there you go. Robert. Robert. Robert, is that you, Robert? There we go, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Robert. <gasps> right to red. That's really good. Robert, is this, are you the man who died in the fire? Yeah. Yeah? Can you take it to red if you died in a fire? I think he's, he's moved he's moved, over I here. think you're right. Should we yeah. go over? So, over here we've got the armour, which may have residual uh, connection. Should 
Do you think it's got any residual connection? I don't feel... no. No? No. Do you just go in here? Yeah, of course. Because I feel like you've moved into here. It's gone so cold. Can you feel that? Yeah, it's, it's ice gone. cold. Yeah. Has he followed us into here? Yeah, it's been a little bit elusive. It's almost like he wants to step back at the minute and watch what we're doing. And that's why I feel like he almost rushed past us. But yeah, so he, that's what he was doing then? Yeah. Now, if anything happens in here, we'll hear it. Yeah. It's very echoey. Yeah. Can you make a noise in here? Run around. We heard you earlier. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, what was that? That was a scratching. Yeah, I heard that. That was like a really Like on the wall. Yeah. yeah, that was weird. That was a really weird scratch. Okay. Can you use your voice as well? Now I'm going to move these sticks in the corner. After we move them, move them, push them over. I just explained up here. We've got a REM pod next to this skull, which is it's not a real skull, but if anything comes near it, it'll set this alarm off. Hopefully, anything that happens in here. Yeah, you'll hear it. We'll hear it as well. With you know the energy shifts. <coughs> I was just <coughs> listening for a sec. You make a noise. I think it's shifted on. Yeah. Again. It, like I said before, it's almost like he's is wanting to step back. Yeah. But still it's hanging in the air. Hanging in the air? Yeah. Maybe we'll go back to the well. Let's go back to the well. Come on. I don't like that corner there, but I don't think it's anything that's within the armour. Yeah? Oh. We're getting a spank in the K2? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's good. Is that good. you, Robert? Yeah. Yeah. But here a second ago when we were just stood here just chatting amongst ourselves. Look, what's I can going see. on? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Robert, is that you? This is Robert. Every time we ask him, he stops. Oh, is that you, Robert? He's very much of the thought of this is not right. Almost if I engage in it, yeah, it's almost like witchcraft. Ooh, yeah, I get you. I'm gonna try something in here. I've got a singing bowl over there. Yeah. I'm just going to grab it. I'm going to set this up, and apparently this can increase the vibrational energy of the atmosphere. And as you can see, oh. the, it's reacting already to the K2. Now we did a sweep in here, and the K2 was army. When I moved away, for, uh, stopped, and we thought, oh, it must be me. And then I came back and it went off. So it's, we've done a sweep, it, it shouldn't be going off. Okay. Maybe the spirits have no idea what that was. Maybe. Oh, I, I heard, this. you will stop that. When I did that? Yeah. Shall I do it again? Yeah. Okay. This always happens, that activity straight away after you do the singing ball. They were shuffling, weren't they? Yeah.
And he's oh. like, what are you feeling? Oh, it's that judge has followed us. The judge? Yeah. He's came Can in. Can you smell that? What's it smell like? It smells of burning. Oh, gotcha. Can you smell it? Yeah. The wood? Yeah. And something else. Oh, God. That's really weird. That's so strong. And this is just a toilet, so it's not going to be... I don't know if we can see that, but it shouldn't be here. Oh, God. I'm going to do that bowl again yeah. just to give it a try. You might not be able to smell it, but I can really smell like like burning embers. Really, really strong. This is the judge, do you think? No, I don't have to. I think it's... I wonder if the fire happened. I think the fire happened in this area. How are you smelling it? When I picked it up before, um, it was definitely in this area. I could smell it and hear the crackling. Oh, oh it's a light, it's a light. <laughs> Should we go back? To, we were yeah. going to go to the well and then yeah, it stopped yeah. us. I'm going to flick that back off again. Oh, I'll do it in a minute. It smells different in here it now. Does, yeah. Yeah. Now we're in here. Oh, do you know what I'm going to grab? Go. I'm going to go and grab the K2, uh, the REM. So I've just gone off and got the REM pod and brought it in here and we put it by the well. Wow. Oh, oh. Oh, have you got a flash on a K2? Yeah. Do you think that might have been the spirits? I, uh, wondering what it what yeah, is. Yeah, it's almost like coming towards it. it. It's almost like, what's this wizardry? Yeah, what's yeah. this machine? What is this wizardry? Okay, oh. oh. Spanking again. Right, if you're here now and you've come into this room, if you go towards this device on the floor, it'll light up and I can see you lighting the K2 meter there. So walk towards this device on the floor. Come towards it. It doesn't want to interact with that. And it's still Rebecca, I'm not hearing any other So you're name. hearing Rebecca, Rebecca in here. She wouldn't have named that child Rebecca, so maybe. Maybe, maybe. her name was Rebecca. Yeah, or well, she had a connection to somebody that comes in here. That's mm. called Rebecca. So far, the activity seemed to be gentle, so I decided we should split up into lone vigils. I left Katie in the same area and I went into the court to see if the energy would increase now we were on our own. Okay, so I'm now, I've now come into the courtroom where um, Katie, the mediums, felt the negative presence. I'll uh, just show you around. It's a beautiful ceiling, gorgeous window. It does feel eerie in here, you know, and it feels eerie towards the back. So I'm gonna go to the back, see if anything happens to me in here. We've turned the sensor off in here, so the light's not going to go off automatically anymore. I'm going to come in here. Oh. Come on. Come forward to me. Use my energy.
Are you here now? I'm going to sit on this chair and see if it affects me. Can you use your voice and communicate with me? I'm going to tap on this chair, make this chair move, make a noise back. Come and communicate with me. If you were sentenced to death in here, and there's somebody still here, please come and sit with me. Come and join me. If you're there, can you make a bang, a scratch? Just let me know that you're here. Robert? keep that there for one second. On that wall, I swear to God, I saw a light moving. I'll try and point it up a bit so we hear it moved. A light moved against that wall. If that's you that was showing yourself in a light form to me, do it again. Move one of these chairs. I heard a growl, followed by a light, and I did not notice what appears to be even more growls. Was this the spirit of the judge warning me away? Can you hear me? If I speak to you in Welsh, will that help? I'm going to go over to where this armour is. Let's see if I can. That was definitely a scratch. A scratch. Can you hear me? If you're there, can you make a really strong bang so I can identify that you're here? It feels odd. You know, I heard that growl and I saw this light anomaly on the wall. Oh, Jesus, I just missed it again. It was there. It was really there then. I saw that. As I pointed away, it happened again. Do it again for me now. Point, point. Move across that wall. I want to see you again. It was fantastic you did that, but please do it again for me. Whoa! Do do whoa whoa whoa! I saw that. 
the light appears to be a cross and the only cross in the room was the window and it was still light. I am unsure how this light could have been caused. Was this paranormal or a trick of the light? I caught that and I saw that. I knew I saw something. There was a light then on the wall. It happened and I caught it. Really did. I caught that. That was a spiritual light. No way. Thank you so much. That was one of the, probably one of the first times I've ever caught a physical light when on camera that I've been trying to, you know, you see with your eyes and then you capture it on the wall. I really did capture that as well. That was amazing. That was, that was bloody good. Where would that have gone to? I'm just trying to see if it used anything. Did it move anything? No? Has it swung any, out, any more of these lights? No? Where did that go? We caught that. That, that was ace. A light from another dimension, the spirit world, passed across this wall. Amazing. I like it when that happens. And now I'm getting goosebumps. Okay. Tap on that door. You were able to show yourself in light form. Tap on that door. Please. Rebecca. Take that away from me, please. Rebecca. Thought, thought, two definite thoughts. You, Rebecca, or Robert? Oh gosh, they're just feeling in this area. Right? I'll tap on something for you. Let me show you what I mean. Okay? Can you do that for me? Come on. Do it for me. Whoa! Thank you! Thank you so much! Didn't move either. Do it again one more time, please. Please do it again. So far, it's been amazing. I never expected, you know, you, you hear stuff all the time, yeah, see stuff, but it never, you know, in infrared, you never really capture these things that are lights. But you know what? I caught it. Okay. There's a radio in this corner. Switch this radio on. Or tap it, move it, switch it on. Come on. You're doing fantastic so far, and the energy levels 
that you're using to to do stuff is is fantastic, and it, I'm so happy for for to receive this. Are you the judge, or are you someone else? I hear because I heard a growl. I've now witnessed a light. Who are you? And now you won't pick this up, but if you could feel me, I'm icy cold. So I don't think that's a good presence coming near me. I don't think that's all. Did I have anything that just happened there? Can you show yourself behind me? Show yourself on this camera behind me. What was that? Do something else for me in this room. Come on. You've got spiritual powers. You can move a chair. You can switch the radio on. Or move a light. No. Nothing. But I'm still cold. I don't know whether you'd be able to hear it because of the sound of the traffic, but there's definitely scratching. Can you tap for me? Can you move a book? Can you do that tapping or scratching sound for me again? Yeah. There's definitely, definitely like a, 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 a tapping or a scratching sound. Come on, do something more for me. Push. An object in the room, do something. I heard a voice then. I really did. I actually heard like the sound of somebody like um going hmm. Huh? I really did. No. What the hell? No way. Look, that's moving. Is it moving or is it my eyes? No way. Is the other one moving? No, whoa, what was that? What was that? Was it a clicking noise? Can you hear it? What's, what's causing that to move? I can't reach that to stop it. Where is it? No. This is clicking now, but it's moving. It's too high. It's probably about 10 foot in the air. Well, that, that's another good thing that's happening here. Thank you so, so much. If you're that strong and you can move that, then you can move one of these. Move this, push it over, push this candle over. No? You're just settling with moving that. Is, that, is it stopped? No. Right, do you know when? If 
feel that. Obviously, I'm not alone, but I shouldn't be here. I'm feeling like that now. It's like it's changed the atmosphere. What made that move? Can you make a noise as well? I know you've, you know what? You've done everything. You've shown yourself in physical light form. You've moved a light. You've made a noise. Move that one on camera now. Go on. Move it. bangs and like a like a do that again for me oh the k2 has just been going up can you do that again for me Can you make this REM pod go off? Sometimes these spirits, they do stuff like this, but then they don't follow through and move it on command. It's weird. Right, there's a, there's a glass window there. Tap on the window. I know I'm asking for you to do loads, but you can do it, I know you can. Tap on that glass window. No way. I heard that. That wasn't the tap of the window, that was a squeak. Where did that come from? Was it that being pushed again? Where did that come from? 